Hey, this is really quick video how to set up your, your Plexon Synology NAS. So let's do this. First step you're going to be doing is going to go to Package Center uh, and going to search for Plex. Then um, already installed, so it shows open, but you're going to have option to install. So you can hit that. After that, you go to um, File Station and uh, Plex folder. If you are um, logged in as an admin, you've got admin account, then you will be able to see this uh, Plex folder and you'll be able to move the data into this. But if you have created your own username, you're probably not going to be see, seeing this folder. So what you will need to do is you will need to go to Settings, Shared Folders, and uh, then Plex, select Plex, Edit, and uh, go to Permissions. And then whichever username you're using, you will need to enable Read and Write option and then click OK. So you, you, from that point on, you will be able to see this file, uh, this folder. So you're going to go to File Station and you'll see the folder there. You'll be able to create uh, folders for movies, for TV shows, uh, whatever you want to. If uh, you don't want to keep your multimedia on a Plex shared folder, you can always create uh, a new folder like a video or something. Uh, but in that case, you will need to give the same permission to Plex in this case. So you'll need to go to Control Panel. If you go to our Video Shared Folder, you'll need to edit Settings, go to Permissions and give Plex access to this. Otherwise, Plex will not see uh, these videos and, and songs, whatever you put in those folders. So once that is done, you will want to move your files. If you've got anything on your like external drive or something like that, you can connect it to USB. If you connect it to USB, go to File Station. Uh, you'll be able to see USB Share options so you can select which folders you want to uh, copy and then go to plex uh, movies folder or something and then paste them if you don't want to move or copy any files from external drive you will be able to mount this external drive inside your plex so whenever you connect it to uh, Synology NAS you, plex will find these um these videos you'll just need to resync read uh, all the icons and, and, and thumbnails and stuff like that so, okay, once you have copied all those files to a Plex folder or have selected and created a new shared folder for Plex, then you just need to head to the Plex. So what you do, go to Plex server. Okay, I have one already open here. I already have got movies here, but if you want to know how to map or link this folder to your Plex, you will need to go to, for example, Films, straight out of there, click Manage Library, Edit, and then you choose add folders so as you see i've already added one um but you, what you need to do is just browse for a multimedia folder go to volume one this is what um the hard drive the, the volume where, where the old files and operating systems probably living on then you go to um folder where you keep your multimedia files if it's plex you choose plex if it's video it's video and uh this is also the step where you can link your USB drive to uh, to a Plex. So what you need to do is you need to find um, uh, USB. So you scroll down, you scroll through these options, and there should be something called USB. And I think the USB was, wasn't it this? Yeah, it's actually on the left hand side. USB share. <laughs> you click that, select add, save settings, and once you have done that, click OK. Obviously there. But you will need to resync. You need to check, ask Plex to check those folders and make sure that uh, all multimedia is been added and synchronized properly with the Plex app. So what you're going to do? Go to Films and um, Scan Library Files. You hit that, and it's going to rescan. Here you'll see up there that so resyncing is happening in the background. And uh, from that point on, that's it. You can start watching movies, and uh, it's all set up for you. I hope this was helpful. Trivia.